Hello and welcome to my little home studio here. I have a Mac and a little interface. I have my mixer there. And I have two Genelec uh, powered monitors, 1031As from the earlier 2000s. They're actually still really good speakers. That one was fixed a couple years ago. We're going to fix that one today. Oh, that's heavy. The subwoofer down here has an intermittent loss of signal. So you'll be listening to it, the speaker will stop functioning, the tweeter will keep going, the subwoofer keeps uh, drops out. So we're going to take a look at the motherboard, not the motherboard, the, the board where the wiring for the speaker hits the board and we're going to look for a cold solder joint there. Anyways, let's give her a try. When I wake up in the morning, drinking coffee on my balcony, trees are dancing to the whistle of the wind. Lord, I'm thankful for everything. Right, so that one screw right there is giving me some hard, a hard time. So before I strip it, I'll get a bit of screwdriver. And there I got it. So I guess part of it is recognizing when you're about to mess up. There's a massive heat sink on it. I believe I have all the screws. I just think that heat sink is stuck. All right, so I need to get this board off and it's stuck. Need to flip it over. So that little piece right there is a heat sink for these um, power transistors. So I'm just sort of wedging that underneath it. There we go. Got it. Now yeah, we're gonna go looking. So now we know that this connector here is the connector that went to the chassis, off the chassis of the, the, the board to the, the subwoofers and to the tweeters. So we should focus our energy around here. And when I get a closer look at it, obviously my eyesight is not good enough, but I can see where I think is the problem, which is right there. I'm gonna zoom in and take a picture of that for you. board here and I'm feeling pretty good about it so I'm just gonna set it aside for a second Okay. Stir it. 